Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European of Styles 4 as Savory Italy. Savory Savoy. We're now Italy. In between episodes, I did go and spend uh, money on some trade company improvements to raise force limits and things. I'm sort of splitting half and half between land and navy. Well, that's not true. About two thirds navy and then a little bit land um, snuck in there just because we could use some extra force limit. I mean, right now we're over a force limit. That's not always going to be the case, but we'll probably, we've got the money to support a big army. So having a higher force limit's not bad. We'll see about building more of the regimental camps and whatnot as well as we go forward. Sand Pit is now self-sustaining. Uh, we will send someone to Banjar. I would do more at the same time over here, except that um, we, we don't have an extra dude. Although I guess I could probably build a dude here, couldn't I? Yeah. Um, although you're full up there, but what about over here? There we go. I'll build a guy here. No, you're there. We do have... We do have these. Okay. I will build a... I will build one more so we can do three at once, and then I'll, I'll just have to ship people to various places, and that's going to be okay. Lose Prestige gets points. Um, Army Reformer is what? Morale of the armies. Morale is pretty good. I think it's been letting us crush face here. So let's go ahead and do that. We could actually use the military power anyway. We did get our tech, but we still are working on quantity ideas. And we keep dumping military power and things uh, right now to, you know, boost sieges and whatnot. And so let's detach a few damaged ships, although they're barely damaged. Hey, we've got Vienna. Excellent. Wonderful. Let's... Okay, let's just do a little carpet sieging over here. And yeah, I think our next goal is to peace out Sealy and take as much from their coast as we can. And then from Austria, we're going to want to take maybe these two provinces. I don't know if we've got the AE space for that. I think our aggressive expansion is going to be pretty aggressive. But we'll see what we can do once we get there. Um, let's do that. Let's do that as well. Battle of Benjar. Dante has been converted. Awesome. Oh, I also added some provinces to some of our trade companies that, that hadn't been there yet. There was a there was a big gain over here as well. We got 41% of the trade power over here as is, which is great. And then the big thing is Alexandria being so good is awesome. Uh, we don't have a free merchant. Diplomats, we have missionaries. We did... Ultimately, putting one here would be okay. Although, we've got... Uh, we don't have one in Constantinople, and that actually might be the thing. And getting our ships in Constantinople might be nice. Although, it's not the richest trade note. Still like the idea of Seville. I suppose right now with our ships, actually, I should probably do. Let me get all my ships. Put them in one place for a second. Uh, merge, split off the transports, and then split off the lights. I feel pretty secure in telling my light ships to go and protect trade in Seville. That's still where we want some trade power. And I don't think we're really going to need our heavies over here either. I'm going to tell them to hunt pirates in the Genoan trade node. Because there have been a lot of pirates there in the past. And then my galleys are just going to come out over here. I mean, there's going to be a fight regardless. We'll take care of those. And get up there. That's going to go soon. These are coming together, which is nice. Um, Let's go to Intal. Detach and do this. Get everyone over here grouped up. They've got a fair number of dudes, you know, wandering around here. We'll see. We might be able to just peace out Sealy soon, especially as we take their uh, their last piece of land. I think that's their last piece of land. Probably just dock you. Repair if you got scratched during the battle. Done. We can convert. Oh, Koyer. Oh, it was probably, it was probably sieged. Okay. Done, done, done. Now you're done over here. So, no more red provinces in that direction. No, we're good. Okay. So, just move up in this direction, then. That's going to be fine. We just have to make sure we're not walking into someone standing on mountains. But I think we're going to be okay. Rocco, Tlemkin, Styrmark has been occupied by Italy. Great. Yeah, you guys can move up as well. Support Baroque music. Well, you know what I always say. If it's not Baroque, don't fix it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, it's 20 years, so it's 20 bonus prestige. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. And I, it's nice that it's spread out, not bursted, because we'd be over our prestige cap uh, right now. So this is mountains. Um, this is hills. We could start France against the Incas. All right. 
That feels like something out of, like, Civ, doesn't it? Yeah, we can go and catch these guys. I'm not gonna rush. Not yet. When we get close, we might do a force march to make sure they don't escape. In fact, perhaps now. Oh, you're starting to move. That's interesting. You're moving to Waldstadt. I'm gonna do this, because I will arrive first with the force march. Yeah, and you're gonna change your mind. Okay. Done, done, done. Sue for peace? Yes, okay. So, what I want is this... Oh, Venice is too expensive. Um, Obviously, Venice is super valuable, but it'd be kind of awkward because I wouldn't be able to reach there. I think we'll just grab the coast like that. Now, what are we looking for, like, over here? This is still so far fine. Although, maybe I won't take Istria. Because I can always just take a little bit more from Austria. Because either way, I'm going to hit up against the wall. So, we'll take the war reps. Um, yeah, let's break your alliance with Austria. I think that's going to be okay. And then we'll take a bunch of money. Okay, so we're only taking these two provinces. But I think that's fine. Negotiating for themselves, which is what we want. No mistakes made. We're going to start coring you. Um, and this fort... Hills in a decent location. I think we are going to keep the fort there. We'll have to upgrade it later. Alright. Move up this way. And yeah, you're going to jump on these guys over here. We'll have the defensive bonus of the hills. Um, if consolidate. And they're going to reinforce. And they have you know more dudes. But with the defensive bonus, we're going to be, I think, alright. And they're definitely reinforcing. I'm not going to send the 5k in there. And a bunch of these guys are going to be smashed, like, hard before they get there. Oh, wow. This is going to be bad for them because they're locked in. They're locked into attacking me here. That's really bad for them. And we can pretty easily jump on a few of these others. I'm going to force march. Um, never mind. I'm not going to. I'm going to wait for them to get locked like that. And then we'll move forward. And that's going to be okay. Only, I was going to say, only half of these guys might be locked, but no, I guess they'd all locked at that point. Go. Let's go back to Brezgau. I'm sure that's not how it's pronounced. There's like a 100% chance that whichever way I'm pronouncing it is not the correct way. Or I do it anyway. Boom, 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 boom. 61% over here. Um, I mean, we might be able to separate piece out some more guys, but I think we're mostly okay. In fact, we might be able to piece out for everything we want right now anyway. But I may as well wait for a tiny little bit of A decay, plus for some of our coring to progress, before we do, um, before we actually piece them out. There's no reason for us to rush the piece deal. Economy's still good. Uh, I don't know where war exhaustion is, but we're probably fine there. I mean, I could check it, but we don't have the notice, so we're less than 5%, so I'm not worried. I probably wouldn't want to pay it down either. Um, these guys are all done. Can I get the bottom? Uh, yeah, but I don't like that route. I want to go this way. Thank you. Oh. Oh, you just you just go around that way, period. Hey, what? Just go to Uruk. And Austria is starting to want some peace. I don't blame them. So, just a, as a curiosity, if I were to grab, say, these two provinces, it doesn't cost me very much. Coalition, we want to make sure the Ottomans don't find themselves in here. Now, it's going to be hard for me to spot them, but I don't think they're in there right now. Mostly all of Germany, but I don't see how that's a major problem for us. So, the more I take, uh, the more there's going to be AE, but at the same time, the longer the peace deal will be. But I can also take other things. This might not be a terrible time to do some releases either. Um, I don't think that's really our top priority, though. You know, war reps. I could just, like, ask for a big transfer trade power as well, which is a really good way to um, get a bunch of stuff. You're currently... Oh, that's just military access. Okay, that's fine. Just, I don't want you to be allied to those guys. We can split them in half in a few different ways. Maybe something like this. It's a nice bottleneck. Uh, there's definitely more names here than there were. The Papal State might join in, but they're exactly at 50. If I just wait a little longer, that should go away, because I don't want them to join the Coalition, because they're more likely to be a war target for me. They're also someone else who might be more than willing to pull the trigger. 
So I think that might be my limit, is right around something like that. In there. We have the full cannon count, but that's going to be fine. Right now, I'm just kind of killing time. Come back over here, stop them from doing something annoying. Oh, there you go. That's fairly quick. Okay, what? I'll, uh... You're not in the war. You are, and I can reach to here? Yeah. Poke around Ansbach. Probably just piece them out for money or something. Or I might not want to separate piece them at all, because then they'll have the longest truce timer. Well, presumably, because I'm probably going to ask for a bunch. In a claim on... How Bum bang. Oh. In a few years. That wouldn't be so bad. The other thing I've got to do with all my money is see if uh, Vianagar might sell me some land. Might wait until I've got even more in the bank. Before I start putzing around through those menus. Uh, you can move to there, which is going to be okay. Ulm's not in a war with me. Good. Because I wouldn't want to have to fight Ulm. That would be terrible. I'm going to force march into Vienna because, uh, oh, it's flatland, so there's no bonus to be had. But still, we'll catch these guys with a numeric advantage. And we still have some pretty good stats. The higher morale. Why well, would they have the same discipline now? Dun, dun, dun. Unforce march and then come retake this province. Go and do that. 75%. So most, we'll probably just wait for the call for peace and then just GG out at that point. Move to Bohemia. That's the nice thing with separate piecing these guys out. Is yeah, we'll probably get a shorter truce timer, but we can just use it to get a heck of a lot more money. Ottomans declare war on the Mamluks. I don't really want to see the Ottomans get bigger and stronger, especially with the Commonwealth having taken a beating over here and still basically being in rough condition. Because um, I would like more of a buffer against them. Not to mention Russia. Okay. Own discontent, that's annoying. I could counter spy the Ottomans if they keep doing stuff like this. Might not be the worst idea ever. Uh, you'll go up over there. Say what, why don't you. Oh, that's not a fort, but you can still come hang out in this general area. You're desieging stuff, but it's not a fort, so it's not going to be meaningful for war score. Um, Rebel Uprising, Memlucky, and Separate. Oh, wait, we don't have. Well, no, we do have these guys that are covering this whole area. That should be okay. Um, I'm lucky in Separatist, 19k. I mean, it's probably going to spawn there. I could move up. Yanbu. 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 Oh! It's right where I'm standing? Okay. So I'm not going to move. I'm not going to provoke them, because the numbers would get a little higher. Although, not actually enough that it would be a true problem. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I guess um, I could separate piece out Ansbach. So let's do that. So I'm not going to take any of your territory. I'll just take all your money and war reps to cripple you a little bit later on. Um, I could end some rivalries for some points. Uh, military access, and I don't care about these alliances. Um, military. Even alliance of Bohemia. Yeah, no, that's all fine. Uh, end one of your rivalries. End another rivalry. There we go. Because it'll just give me more prestige. Although we're 100% prestige. You know what, this might just shake up the political system, because they're going to have to rival someone else, and that'll probably break up some relationships. Sure. So most of them just taking some money and then being a troll. And I'm okay with that. Brandenburg is low right now. We, how much actual war score do we have with them? Currently zero, so we wouldn't be able to make any demands. We lost a little bit of war score because the relative occupations. But oh, that's okay, we're about to get a bunch over here. Auden, yeah, that's fine. There's no fortresses there, so it's not worth anything war score wise. There's the call for peace. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish these so I get some war score again. Um piss off Gelra. Local unrest negative, that's nice. I don't know, we'll do this. Must protect our trade. Kind of our vibe. Why not? Are we actually done coring? 
Yeah, we are. Okay. More rebellions possibly brewing. Uh, where's the other one? Florentine. Zaretso. Okay. They're not going to de-siege anything real. I was hoping to get a little more war score, but we may not need it. Um, what we were asking for was the 68 over here. If we... Wait, do they actually have that much money? No. Okay. Um, we're going to take these three provinces. The Pope's no longer interested, right? And the Ottomans are not in this list. That seems to be correct. Uh, we're taking all their cash. We're doing war reps. France trade power? Sure. Yeah, I want a, I want a long truce time over here. It's going to be really handy to do that. For everything. Uh, let's take all of our miscellaneous troops and just uh, put them in Luca for now. We want to place with a high force limit and we can split them and put them in Pisa. So moving, moving. You're rebel busting over here. You're rebel busting over there. And then you guys. Uh, oh, these guys can be voted to somewhere. That's right. We're doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recall this one. Wait one day. And then... Let's, let's get to work on this island over here. Start from one end. And you there. Do this. Come over here. Be ready to land. Molly's got global trade. Arezzo the rebels. And we knew they were brewing. They're okay, although our dudes are a little further away. And it, there's no fort there, so they are going to add some separatism. Which is annoying, but hardly the end of the world. Let me just babysit this guy. I'm worried if I leave my ships out here, they might start to be attrition. Because we don't actually own any territory there right now. Mamluks. Thank God they've gone all over. But they're getting spanked for it now. They're not going to get wiped out because they really have territory all over. But they are getting spanked. It would be interesting if they got small enough that we could... Uh, oh, that's a really small one. Oh, Coalition is brewing. Okay. Um, it'd be interesting if the Mamluks got small enough that I could just vassalize them. And then I would just, you know, inherit all their the rest of their stuff all over the place. Do, 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 do. Coalitions are continuing to form. Now, if they're joining the coalition, it feels like it's because they feel like they've got enough strength on their side um, that if a war started, they, they'd feel fairly confident. Now, with the fact that we do have France and Hungary and Thuringia in on our side over here, I'm going to feel kind of okay. We are at peace. That annexation's almost done. I'm going to start annexing Aiden. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, August 1640. What's this expected to end? Oh yes, Aiden's going to happen first, and then that'll freeze actually our, our annexation of Mali again. But I'm kind of okay with that. I don't really care. I want to start it while we're at peace. We'll get it done. We'll clear up this relationship, which we don't really need. We could feed them land, but it's not like I'm hurting for the admin. So I don't think we have to go be doing fancy stuff. Not that it's that fancy, but you know... Split something like that. Uh, we can give you some general and then drill. And you can drill. We'll clean this up too. France might be coming to help desiege that. Yeah, I think they were coming to help me fight that. Uh, poor iron, so the costs go up. Before it goes up, are we still above our force limit? We're still above our force limit, so yeah. I mean, I am sure we have enough men because it turns out we have way more than we need. Leave the forts up because we can. We have crap tons of money again. Okay. So listen, Vienegar. So let's make friends with you. Okay. I'm going to start sweetening you up over here. So everyone is busy. Uh, oh, Bohemia, really? Um, well, I'm going to decline. So, you got a CB. Come at me, bro. All right, well, well I had military, so I'll go ahead and take this. Hey, we'll save more money. Um, speaking of money, let's do some spends for um, force limit buildings. Now, again, I did most of my trade company improvements for force limit in one way or another. There's still some things I could build. Oh, I can't build the Admiralty somewhere. I wish I could filter to just that. Oh, see, now that's... Oh, because that's not me. Because, um, yeah, Admiralty, 
or the officer's mess. I guess you build one of these big ones, and then that's about it. Uh, trade power here doesn't really matter. Uh, none of that is mine. This is mine, but I got those built already. I and mean, there's some stuff we might not be. Yeah, it's the force limit stuff I want to be able to build. The same trade zone. None of that is mine right now. Where can I build the Admiralty? I wish there was a better way to do that. And there's a little bit of me. No, I've got you as well. Alright, we'll figure it out. I'll figure it out between episodes or something. Um, I am going to build some regimental camps. Pretty much everywhere that gives me some land force limit. Um, yeah, these will be fine. I'll wait on that. But as the um, uh, local autonomy goes down, it's going to get better. We did unlock star forts. Yeah, and we need... Yeah. If we've got forts, they need to be the best we can possibly have. All right, Arezzo's back under our control. We'll just move you down to Siena, and we'll get you drilling. Go ahead and drill. That's going to be fine. All right, drill, 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 bust, 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 um, and deal with natives. There, there, there. There, you're there. Let me just go and dock you over here, although it doesn't look like you're getting any attrition, which is nice to see. That's all fine. We'll just take a little bit of a beat. I mean, it's not like we're manpower capped or anything anyway. But our next war should be somewhere further away. We might start against the Yemen again. They still have some AE, and certainly the Mamluks would, although the Mamluks are, are caught in the middle of basically all our warring, so it's always going to be there. I guess we did promise to start a war over here. I don't think I want to ship a ton of dudes over this way. I don't know if we need a lot of dudes. You're allied to some people, but not that many. We've got a good tech advantage as well. Portugal's interacting over here. And it would actually be pretty valuable to take some of this land. So we'll probably look into doing that. Maybe I'll even just recruit more guys over there. I know we're over a force limit, but... I can afford it. Um, actually, okay, so I think I was debating leaving this fort here. But I think, actually, I will get rid of it. It was nice that it's hills, but the woods is just as good. Um, and this might be a better strategic location to do it. If I bother building one at all. This guy here in the mountains is fantastic. He's definitely going to get an upgrade later on. A hundred percent. Drill, drill, drill. Oh no, Ulm. Now we're screwed, you guys. So there's going to be a lot of people who are all of a sudden going to be quite willing to start some trouble. Um, I'm wondering about getting rid of this fort here. Because really, I mean, no one's really going to reach Mantova too well. I mean, if they do a coastal landing, I suppose. But it's farmland, and it's next to a hill fort anyway. Yeah, let's get rid of this. It's not so much about this cost as much as you know, just making sure our building slots are open, because there might be something better to build over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's coalitioning. Um, let's go back over here, sort by cost. Upgrade more of these guys. Um, Yanbu is where again? Oh, I remember now. Way down over here. Coastal Desert. The mountain's right next to it. It's a nice choke point, but if we're going to have a fort over here at all, this would be, like, much better. Because the attrition to, to siege that out and the siege timers would be ridiculous. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this castle rather than upgrade it. Do I start building one over here? I think so. Are you out of um, slots for things? Yes, you are. But I'm going to trash the church. Because it's only three base tax. Let's uh, wait a month. There we go. So I can just build the star fort directly. Love sustaining over here. Lovely. We're about to be capped on admin again soon. Do is move you to there. And. Right, you didn't have a settler. I think I will recall you. And I will send one over here. Keep it going. I could do a little development work. Um, policy wise. You have the defensiveness edict, which I'm going to cancel. How close are we to attack? Not very. Um, actually, a little closer than expected. It's only governing capacity. I think it's fine and legit to do a little bit of territory improvement. Arborea is where? 
Oh, over here. Yeah, you know what? This will be a swell place to do some encourage development. Start down over here. Okay, you're only at nine. Um, that's not admin, although yeah, I can't admin any of these, but I may as well spend a few of the other points. Um, I'd rather not spend military, though. Oops. Yeah, I think I have... To, I'm going to spend a couple of points of military. It'll make this a little bit easier. Alright, we may as well bring you up there. I'm having to spend a lot of um, the Diplo power, but that's okay-ish. Oh, I still can't? Oh, it's that... Yeah, it's that out of whack. It really is. Okay, we still got a little bit of space for the admin, which is okay. We might just end up buying it way ahead of time. Or I don't know. We might actually make some more states? Are we already capped out over here? Jeez. I'm gonna have to wait a while before my uh, diplomat comes home. Because my others are currently busy working towards annexation, although only one of them will actually finish. Do I jump on the autumns now while this is going on? Probably I don't want to do anything while there is the coalition. It's not the worst coalition in the universe, but it would be a little bit... No, actually, wouldn't even be that hard to deal with. They want to declare me a war on me, assuming France would jump in. All right, my diplomat is home. Uh, I don't have a ton of money right now. I don't know what these things sell for. Oh! I can sweeten the deal some more. Okay, although that's thousands, yeah. Um, so that's nowhere close. This one's this one was a little closer. I think any kind of toehold wouldn't be so bad. Um, yeah, well, we're gonna see. What uh, you over here? If I just try to fix something, uh, that that no bar is lower. Although you don't particularly care for me. I guess we got alliances and stuff that could potentially help with things, because it would increase trust. Speaking of alliances... The province is nearby. Hmm. You're allied to Pelmbang, so we're going to be starting some shit here at some point anyway. So maybe I will just wait. Uh, you're trading, which is okay. You're doing some anti-piracy stuff. Piracy going on in the node? No, well, right now, negative this much, so they wouldn't be able to, but I'll still do some anti-piracy stuff. Do we have an estate mission? Oh, I should have a manufactory in Forenzi. Uh, right now, you're upgrading your fort, which is okay. But yeah, we have to make sure about that. Commonwealth paid off the debts of Denmark. Interesting! I thought the Commonwealth was in a pretty bad situation, but apparently, they're good enough to have some money to kick around. Uh, yeah, we'll just raise their tariffs now. Although, I guess last time I said, you know, I kind of don't want to deal with, you know, unruly, um, unruly things over here. A strong position. Yeah, if we can get some more trade, we could get some more merchants, which would be kind of handy. Uh, so maybe I won't bother with the tariffs, because it's not like I'm hurting for money. 162. Now this includes some war reps, although it's like 10 gold only from war reps. Okay, trade league. Leads to more associations over here, which might be annoying, but we'll put up with it for now. Regain manpower and disbanding. Nice. Ooh, purchase and ability. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go for more admin efficiency, I think. Our shipment is kind of fun. Economy change cooldown. We don't really care about too much. Uh, fort maintenance on borders with rival is nice, but I'm not sure we care about it the same way. Yeah, I'm going to take the admin efficiency. We're going to really appreciate that. So that's lower cost for taking terrain. War score, uh, lower coring cost, which is actually one of the big bang for your buck areas. It's really, 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 really good. Um, Aiden has been integrated, which is going to stall Molly again. Um, let me, uh, you know what? I don't... States? We're not going to state you, because what we're going to do is we're going to add you to the trade company over here. Should get rid of, yeah, trade, the state and the conversion. Uh, we got some extra units, which is good, because we weren't already over our force limit. I could disband you and get some manpower back, but you know what? I'll just keep you. Who cares? We'll move you over there. So put that in. This is a mountain fort. Yeah, that's going to be a great one to keep. Let's go and level you up. 
I want to finish my fort upgrades. I don't want any lower level forts because that's just vulnerable. Um, that might... Hang on. Yeah, because of the tropical wood. You don't actually have a fort. I was just looking at the cheap stuff. So as far as I can tell, all of our forts are now being upgraded, which is nice. Now, in uh, Frenzy... Oh yeah, you still have to finish this before I can build the next thing. And actually, um, are you actually going to have an empty slot or not? Because that's the construction that's going to replace that. I think the answer might still be no, although you're nearly there. And we could actually dump some um, admin power in there. These guys, I think we will state. That's going to be fine. Boom. Boom. Very first of the new year. That's good. Um, I don't want to lose admin. It's a lot of money. I do have a lot of admin, though. Increasing their loyalty would give me enough to yoink their territory without having them whine, although they're basically there anyway. Alright, I'll spend the money and then seize some land. Because no one's going to complain. Okay. Amazing how much like influence and things they still have because of various things, despite not having any territory. But yeah, if we can get it 100% under our control, I wonder if the estates go away. Is that good or not? Actually, if they just sort of go away without ever giving us trouble about it, it's not so bad because we eventually we want to get rid of the ideas that lower our absolute our absolutism limits, right? That would be kind of it. Actually, we're currently ca I didn't realize we were capped on our absolutism. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have to go and pop some of these. Uh, their loyalty must be higher than their influence to be able to start removing things. Okay, that is admin power, which is nice. Um, native assimilation. Actually, we can live without a, a native assimilation. So I'm going to yoink this now. We're going to start pulling this away. And this removes some of our um, autonomy cap. And yeah, so once they start liking us a little bit more, we'll keep uh, ganking things. Which might also lower some of their influence. Because some of these policies are raising the influence. Some of them. And we can just do various things. Yeah, we get money. We don't care about that. That's fine. Okay. I think that's a pretty good state for us to leave things in. It is a little awkward that France is our ally because, like, we'd, we'd like to keep going, but they're in our way right now. But it's still for the best. Um, that's all sieged out. I still want to do some more stuff here. Fazan, who are you allied to? Yeah, you're allied to me. Right. You know what? I think we're going to dissolve that alliance, because we're going to want to go um, over here at some point. And we've already got a little bit of territory, so starting with Fazan would be a very easy choice for us. So this will give us a truce timer, but that's that's actually fine. There's some more little island territory we could have looked for as well, but I'm kind of happy with working towards the coast. Nothing else, it would be nice to be able to walk our troops through all of our territory. So that's kind of handy. That's only hills instead of mountains, but that's okay. We're rebuilding some things. All right, well, we're going to go and put a cut in here. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.